Early modern Europe saw a wave of dread and panic due to the alleged menace of witches. Women have been accused of engaging in devil worship and practicing black arts. All for the sake of ridding society of this deemed evil, they were tortured and burned at the stake. But what sparked these witch hunts in the first place? And how did they influence the course of world history? Seventeenth Century Salem was a British colonial settlement in Massachusetts Bay, present-day United States. Salem had two different versions, one of which was a bustling port city called Salem Town, which would eventually turn into what we now know as the city of Salem, where the affluent porters lived, who had close links to Salem Town's wealthy merchants. And the other is a smaller farming village located roughly 10 miles from it. This city was more of a rural area that was mostly comprised of farmland, with some scattered villages nearby. The village was inhabited by less prosperous farming families. The influential Putnam family had great influence over Salem town and also sought autonomy over the village. 1689, Samuel Paris became the pastor of the village church through the Putnams. Harris was a merchant from Boston who came to Salem with his wife, three children, a niece, and two slaves originally from Barbados. A few days after the arrival, Harris's daughter Betty and his niece Abigail Williams started having strange episodes. They started screaming, uttering peculiar sounds, throwing things, and contorted their bodies different positions. On February 29th, Tatuba, Sarah Good and Osborne were accused of witchcraft and stimulating these episodes by voodoo dolls. This incident was just one of the many incidents that daunted Europe between 13th and the 18th century. The witch hunt has its roots in the medieval era, a time when people were still trying to make sense of the natural world's mysteries and the forces of good and evil. There were many superstitions and people who believed in magic. And the church frequently used allegations of witchcraft to punish heretics and stifle other religions. However, it wasn't until the late 15th and early 16th centuries that the witch hunt reached its peak. This was a time of great social upheaval and change as the Renaissance and the Reformation challenged traditional ways of thinking. During this time, there were a lot of anxieties about the changing world and the loss of control. The witch hunt became a way for people to channel their fears and anxieties into something tangible and controllable. The witch hunt was also fueled by the widespread belief in the devil and his ability to corrupt people and influence their actions. Those accused of witchcraft were often seen as having made a pact with the devil in exchange for magical powers. The witch hunt became a way for people to explain the mysteries of the world and to feel a sense of control over their own lives. It was a way to punish those who were seen as different or as a threat, and to maintain the power of the church and the state. The magnitude of women being accused and prosecuted for alleged witchcraft was far greater than that of men. Who were the women being accused of witchcraft? According to scholars, women who had children from more than one father were often easy targets for such accusations. 1503, Nuremberg. A woman was tried in charges of being a witch over her disreputable character. She seemed to have several children from various fathers without being married to them. Some women were also accused of using witchcraft in order to gain power and advantage over men. European men saw them as threatening. The Europeans felt threatened when two or more females seemed to join forces. Associations of women often caught unnecessary attention and were seen with suspicion. Many women being prosecuted for bewitchment were in fact natural healers, 
who treated the disease with plant-based medicines. Some of them were scholars and philosophers. The common pattern observed in various parts of Europe indicates that witch hunts were done to reduce the influence of women who broke gender stereotypes from the commoners. The witch hunt is a dark chapter in human history. Marked by fear, mistrust, and the persecution of countless individuals accused of being witches. The punishments for being accused of witchcraft were often brutal and inhumane. In colonial America, the punishment for being accused of witchcraft was typically hanging. However, the accused were often subjected to physical abuse and torture in order to extract a confession including being beaten or subjected to sleep deprivation. Even in medieval Europe, people accused of witchcraft were subjected to torture in an attempt to extract a confession. This could include methods such as waterboarding, thumbscrews, or the use of the rack. If the accused refused to confess, they were often sentenced to death by burning at the stake. Burning at the stake was a particularly gruesome and painful way to die. The accused were typically stripped naked and bound to a wooden stake, with a pile of wood or other flammable material at their feet. The executioner would then set the wood on fire, and the accused would slowly burn to death as the flames consumed their body. It was meant to serve as a warning to others who might be tempted to practice magic or consort with the devil. Many people accused of witchcraft were burned at the stake in public squares or other prominent locations in order to maximize the impact of the punishment. While the witch trials have been extensively studied and documented, the true scale of the tragedy may never be fully known. It is estimated that tens of thousands of people were accused of witchcraft across Europe and the Americas during this time, with many more likely to have gone unrecorded. Despite the efforts of some to expose the injustices of the witch trials and bring an end to the persecution, the hysteria and paranoia that fueled them persisted for centuries. Do subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments. Which other topic should we explore?